Hello everyone. Welcome to part three of these flip coin cards. I hope you're enjoying this. If you are not, I am absolutely sorry, but I am continuing this series right now. <laughs> we continue with uh an artifact creature construct from Innistrad and it costs five generic mana and reads and it's a one one and it reads creepy doll is indestructible or just indestructible uh, there's no point in saying creepy doll is indestructible you just put indestructible on there but this was 2011 so whatever let's move on whenever creepy doll deals combat damage to a creature flip a coin if you win the flip destroy that creature I love this. Uh, I love it. It's <laughs> oh, 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 it's just absolutely crazy. And that art is just—it's sweet. Uh, sorry if you hear any background noise, but uh, anyway, moving on from Return to Ravnica. It's volatile rig. An artifact creature construct that's a 4 4 for 4 generic. Mmm, sounds good already. Has trample. It attacks each turn if able. Okay. And then whenever volatile rig, rig is dealt damage, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, sacrifice volatile rig. When volatile rig dies, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, it deals 4 damage to each creature and each player. This is a, this is way too weird. This is way too much stuff on a card. One card. I've, I've like had ideas of cards to make, and then I just keep thinking of more things to put on there. But then I, I'm like, wait a minute, I need to tone it back and just do like these few things. But wow, they just went crazy on this card. I did not even know this existed. But, uh, yeah. Also, if you lose the flip, it deals 4 damage to each creature player. That's kind of weird. I would think that would be on a win flip condition. But, wow, this is. Because he might actually want that to happen. So, that, that's kind of weird. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Very odd. So anyway, if it's dealt damage by multiple sources at the same time, the first its first triggered ability will trigger only once apparently, so it's an interesting card and I actually kinda like it. It's neat, it's interesting. I don't know what people will do with it, but next up though is our last artifact creature a Vashina warrior from Elara Reborn it's Skyclaw Thrash a 4-4 four, 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 3 generic mana a blue mana and a red mana whenever Skyclaw Thrash attacks flip a coin if you win the flip Skyclaw Thrash gets plus 1 plus 1 and gains flying until end of turn this is interesting. So, he only gets that it, when he attacks. And there's only a chance of getting it. I kind of don't like this. Especially because he costs two different mana symbols and he's five total. And, and uh, yeah. Just weird. I'd rather it be like uh zero flip a coin if you win the flip sky call uh, thrash gets plus one plus one and gains flying until end of turn and then have it limited to you can only play this ability once or whatever i mean this, this doesn't make any sense i don't know whatever still interesting but uh all right, let's get into the creatures though. The regular creatures, starting with st 
starting with some red creatures to start off with. We got we got a beast creature, 5-5 five, five beast creature uncommon from Onslaught. It's Skittish Valesque. It costs 6 generic and a red. Already off to a mm, also great start. Mm. At the beginning of your upkeep, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, turn Skittish Valesque face down. And then it has a morph cost of 5 generic and a red. Wow, does this card suck like crazy. Oh, this sucks. A 7 mana? I don't even know how you're going to get up to that. How are you going to get up to... S how are you going to like put it down for 3 and then pay 6 later? I don't know. I, this is terrible. This is a terrible, terrible card. I have to admit, though, that's pretty hilarious, though, if you have a 2-2 two -two creature and then you attack and then you have, like, 6 mana available for some reason. Just flip it up and then it's 5-5. Five five, I don't know. It's very weird. Alright, let's 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 go all the way back now to Arabian Nights with Majai Dijin. It's a Dijin. 6-3 Dijin. It costs 3 red mana. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. This pretty crazy right here it's also released in revised so if you want it it's in revised <laughs> because otherwise you probably have to pay a decent amount for Arabian Nights card maybe I don't know let's see what it says it says uh, whenever Mijai Dijin attacks flip a coin oh by the way this is the oracle text because that is too much original text right there <laughs> if you lose the flip Remove Mijayad Jin from combat and tap it. Okay, now I understand why it's 6 3 for 3 red mana. Hmm. I mean, if it had. If it had haste. That would be too powerful, maybe, but. <laughs> it's interesting. I get why it exists. Susan Van Camp. I don't know. This is a. I kind of like it. It's not that interesting though. Like for back then, I guess you would probably be playing it, but not anymore, really. There's better cards to play. But moving on from that, we got a card from Unhinged again. Woohoo! 2004. It's a it's dumbass. It's a donkey barbarian that is. <laughs> three and a half power and two toughness because why not because this is unhinged of course it costs two generic mana and red mana and at the beginning of your upkeep flip a coin if you lose the flip target opponent chooses whether dumbass attacks this turn ah, hilarious and then the flavor text is envying the intelligence of goblins is a bad place to be <laughs> oh I love it I thought I read it something else but that's hilarious and I also forgot to read whether these cards were legal some of them but all of them afterward are pretty much legal and modern unless you're looking at an old border card so far but yeah Unhinged, not legal in any format. Pretty hilarious, though. Uh, I think that will end it off for this video. We still got a ton more to go. Holy smokes. Uh, probably be recording these a little later. Whew. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.